Hi guys, it's Shield Swimmers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing around with a palette that just recently came out. It's the So Jaded Colourpop and Kathleen Lights collaboration. I did do a video on this one, but I kind of used more of like the, I don't know, greens and oranges. So I just wanted to play around with it today and create a little bit of a more wearable look. I also want to play around with the glitters in this palette as well because I think it's such a stunning palette. There's so many shades in here that are just beautiful and I just definitely wanted to play around with it a little bit more especially with the more neutral shades and the more shades that I would probably wear in a regular basis. So yeah, I this one is really called my name today. So it's this one right here. I dig, I did try to film this video yesterday and I was using these sheets right here but honestly I just didn't like how it came out so today I'm just gonna be starting from scratch and trying it over. So we're gonna be doing if you haven't watched any videos on this palette I think the palette is amazing so far I really really like it but honestly I've only used it twice so yeah let's just go ahead and jump right into it if you haven't subscribed already please do so below and let's just go ahead and get started. I primed my eyes using the P. Louise base. This one is in the shade 02. And I'm just going to jump into the little palette that I have right here. First shade I'm going to be taking is Royal Jewels right here. This one is very similar to my skin tone. I'm just going to be placing this on the crease. We're just going to be kind of warming up the crease right there. So I know this one is going to be just very similar to my the color of my lids. So yesterday I really wanted to use kind of like the blues on this palette and I kind of did a look and I did a wing liner with one of the shimmers or the glitters in here and it's one of those things like when you have an idea in your head of something that could look really cool but once you see it like done you're like what the hell it was such a mess I cannot even tell you it was such a mess I was like okay nope so today I'm trying something different, a little bit more neutral, and then I guess I'll play around with this blues one more time because I'm just not feeling up for it today. I don't want any more disappointments. Next shade I'm going to be taking is called Jasper, and it's this one right here. I think this one is the closest thing to like a brown that they have, so I'm just going to be placing this on the outer part of the eye. And just blending this out on the outer portion. I think that's actually really good pigment for a brown. You guys are hearing noises it's just that my dog always waits till like I start filming to play with all of his toys and to eat his food so I'm moving this around towards the inner corner as well just a tiny little bit but I'm also still buffing it out on that outer area it doesn't take much to like pack this shade on so that's really good I really kind of like this shade of brown Taking a fluffy brush, I'm going into your gem and I'm just going to be blending this out on the outer part of the eye. I'm digging back into my P. Louise base and whatever I have left, I'm just going to be creating a little cut crease with this. So I'm starting right in the beginning. I'm kind of pressing this down on my lid. And then I'm just going to be following the path of my eye. Alright, so I'm stopping right there and I'm going to go back to Jasper, which is the brown shade. And what I'm going to be doing is just applying it on the outer part of the eye and kind of blending this out. So what I like to do is kind of tap, kind of tap the shade one more time on the outer part of the eye. And then I do like slow taps and you can see how it starts to kind of blend that in. And then I just start doing circular motions. Now I'm just going to be covering up the concealer part and I think the shade I'm going to be using is actually going to be, I'm covering it up with the glitter anyway so I think I'm going to go with sunstone and then I'll just put the glitter over top of that. 
This is actually a really, really pretty shade. I was not expecting it to be this, like, pretty. Do you guys see that? I may, like, change my plans here, depending on how this looks. All right, so now that looks all nice and blended, I'm going to be going with my glitter glue from Too Faced, and I'm jumping into Topaz, which is this glitter right here. Right, so first, I'm just going to be applying this on the inner corner. And then just quickly jumping into this glitter. These are not cosmetic glitters, by the way, so if you are going to be using them, just be careful because I don't think they're meant to be used on the eyes. That is one of the complaints that I do have with this palette. I mean, if you are going to do that, I think it's like up to the person to purchase glitter that is not good for the eyes. It's not like I want this on a palette without knowing that this is what I'm purchasing, which is kind of like what happened. I guess you can just use this at your own you know, free will and just be really careful that you don't put it too close to your eyes so that it doesn't fall on your eyes. But I mean, that's kind of impossible when you're using glitter because it just gets really messy really quickly. It does feel a little chunky though. Like I do prefer the smaller glitter. I just think it looks a lot better and a little bit more delicate on the eyes. But that is a personal preference, honestly. It's up to you what you like. I am going to be just doing a little bit of a wing liner, so I'm now putting a lot of this on the lower portion of the eye where I, the wing liner would go. So yeah, I'm just going to be kind of placing this on the outer part right there. I'm going to Moonstone right here, and I'm going to be using this one as a brow bone highlight. And then after this, I'm just going to be creating that wing liner, like I said. I think this look is actually coming out pretty nicely. I really, really like it. For the wing liner, I'm going to be using this Hank and Henry eyeliner that came on my BoxyCharm for September. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to be doing, I think, more of like a thick liner. Just because since we're using glitter, I feel like the look is already like very glam. We have one eye done. I'm just going to be moving on to the order, other eye, but this actually looks so pretty, guys. Like, I really like, especially with the thick liner. It's been a long time since I've done such a thick liner like this. Alrighty, so I'm almost done with my face makeup. Now I'm just going to move on to the lower part of my eyes. And I think I'm going to go with the shade um, Jasper and just put it on the outside on the outside portion of the eye. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to go with your gem and put it on all over my lower lash. I was using the Juvia's Place foundation today and I forgot how freaking pigmented it is and how little you need. So I pumped out what I thought was equivalent to two pumps and I didn't even end up using like a quarter of that. So, so insanely pigmented. I don't know if I love that or I hate that because I feel like it doesn't like the foundation is so thick that I feel like my pores can't breathe. So, but it is a really stunning foundation. Um, I couldn't really find my right shade. I tried a couple of shades um, and some of them ended up being too light and some too dark. So what I did is just I stuck with like the lightest shade because I had the right undertone and then what I do is I just bronze a lot. So I really think that this actually works that way. All right now going with Jasper I'm just going to put this on the outer part of the eye. And I think that's all I'm going to do. And then on the inner corner, I'm going to put a little bit more of that Moonstone shade that I put on my brow bone. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with the Moonstone shade. And on top of that, I'm going to try to put a little bit of Diamond, which is one of their super chalk shadows, I think. So let me try that, see if it sticks. I really like this eye look. Now I'm going to be putting on some mascara on my lower lashes and then I put on some lipstick and I'll be right back. Alright, so this is the final look. I ended up really, really liking how this looks, especially the red lip. I feel like it gives it like the whole 
you know, makes it look all complete. I feel like the glitter ended up looking really nice and I'm glad that I kind of decided to play around with the more neutral shades on this palette. I feel like it's an amazing palette. I still think that it's a little bit overpriced in my opinion just because of it being ColourPop, but I do think that if you do like some of the shades in here, I would definitely go ahead and purchase this. I do think that the look that I created today is really, really pretty. I'm really glad that they included some glitters in here. I just would have liked to know in advance that they weren't cosmetic glitters, but that is just me in my opinion. Um, other than that, I really, really love this diamond shade right here. I feel like it's so, so gorgeous. There are some shades that I used in my first video that I really love, like this one right here. Um, this one that I used yesterday, the look didn't end up being super pretty, but the shades themselves were really pretty. I really loved using this one. This Torca's was um, really, really pigmented as well. And the ones that I used today, I feel like this Jasper one was really nice. This is such like a different kind of brown um, just compared to other palettes that I have. It's not like the, you know, like the dark brown that everyone uses and I feel like I just really like the shade of it. It has a little tint of red in there and I just really love it. So yeah, there's so many shades in here that I really, really like and recommend. The shimmer that I used before, um, the glitter was this one and I feel like it is stunning. I do really like this palette. I ended up having a lot of fun today creating this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So yeah, if you like this video, please let me know below. If you want me to do more looks with this palette as well, let me know. As always, please don't forget to subscribe below and like this video and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!